My name is Tony Everett with My Personal Best Coaching, and I'm here to give you a sneak peek into the Warriors of Change program. What is the Warriors of Change program? Well, um, I'm going to go through some slides here to give you an idea. First off, it's all about unlocking that inner warrior. And today we're going to talk about the five principles of seamless evolution. And the evolution is from your sports career to business life. And we want that seamless. And what we're talking about here is when you athletes are very unique, they've spent their entire life in sports. As a kid, you played sports, you practice sports, um, you did everything around sports, and then you went into high school and then college, and then potentially beyond college. But your whole life has been this thing um, that is sports. And now suddenly that's coming to an end and you're going to step into a whole new world. Now, if we don't figure out your mindset, your inner warrior, then the transition, the evolution to business is going to be tough. And I know this, uh, not because I was a professional athlete moving from sports to business, but because I've transitioned through many careers, I've moved from England to the US, I left school to join the Royal Navy, I left the Royal Navy into, into the business world, and I've been lost so many times, I've been lost so much of my life, that I understand the concept of change, I understand the work that it needs to go in deep into the mindset and to figure out what needs to be changed and what needs to be looked at. I've done the hard work so you don't need to. I've set these principles up and this program up to make your life that much easier so when you make this evolution to business, it actually flows. And that brings me into this idea of um, what this change, warrior of change, is about. It's not about... Uh, fighting against change. Many of us take change on as a warrior and just battle against it. Um, what I'm trying to work towards and to teach you is this idea of a warrior of change is moving with it. It's flowing with change, understanding that change is there. And what can I do not to combat it, but to actually collaborate with it, to allow myself to embrace it, to allow myself to work with it, to then see what the universe can provide as I work with change and then bring all of my expertise, my knowledge, my skills, my ability, my passion into this current moment, into this present moment, to then be able to uh, create something that's even better than I could possibly imagine. And that's why this idea of worry, we're not fighting against it, we're sparring with it. Um, and, I've, and I've focused on the concept of water. This is principle number one. The principle of, of this concept of water is that once water is in motion, it rarely stops. Um, when water comes against a dam, it's not deterred. It will go over it, round it, under it, through it. Uh, whatever blocks it, if a, if a log was to fall across a river, it doesn't stop. <clears throat> it just adjusts and moves with the log now. When you drop a boulder in there, it's the same thing. The concept of water is it's adaptable, it's flowing, it's moving, and <clears throat> It's really, um, it can be hard, uh, but it can also be soft. Um, it adapts to whatever container you put it in and fits into that container. Um, it brings life to, to what it flows through, right? It brings life to those around it. Um, and so water can be crashing and um, really forceful or water can be gentle and really soothing. And that's the idea of change, right? We move with these different circumstances and situations that the world brings us. Um, you as an athlete understand the power of flow. There's a lot of talk around this that, that baseball uh, hitters will actually, when they're in the flow, they'll actually see the spin of the ball as it's coming towards them. Flow is that state of focus, that in the moment situation and where hours just fly by because you don't know that, that you're doing what you're doing, that you're in that much of a flow state. You've experienced of this as an athlete. So how do we take this experience and bring it into the business world to give you bigger and better opportunities? Um, and, and the idea that principle number three is there's a finding a way out of no way. 
um, problem solving. We come across problems and say that can't be done. And so that that sticks us behind the eight ball. We can't do anything as soon as we get into that. There's no way of doing that. But water will find a way through. Um, if it's raining really hard, I don't know if you ever struggled with a leak. We had one a little while ago. Uh, we found the leak in kind of the top left hand corner of the house but it actually showed all, almost in the kitchen almost on the opposite side of the house because it it flowed in there was no way there so it came across a beam came down another beam went across that under the floor and it came out somewhere else so water is this this idea that water flows and will find a way out of no way it could seem that it, it the water's route is barred and blocked but it still flows and finds a way through. Um, love this concept. Principle number four is the sky is not the limit. Uh, you are. Um, and this talks about our limiting beliefs. I had many limiting beliefs uh, in, in my step into business, and it held me back and stopped me from being my best self. Um, and it stopped me earning, to, to be honest. And what I've realized is that, that the limit is not out there. The limits are in here. And there are ways around this to understand that's my limiting belief, and I can turn that from a limiting belief into a liberating truth. Um, but we've got to be aware of this limiting belief. We've then got to assess this limiting belief and see if, is it working for us? Is it working against us? Is it holding us back? And then once we're there, we can take action to change it and move it through. Again, these are some of the little concepts that we'll be working through in greater detail. Um, as an athlete, you may have already heard of this, this growth mindset. If I say I can't, the mindset is fixed. I'm stuck here. I can't be any better. That's the best time I've got. I cannot go any faster. Um, that is a fixed mindset. Uh, if something goes wrong, you'll always blame the other person or blame a situation. Um, it, that type of stuff is a fixed mindset. A growth mindset, however, will see that best time as something that if I work harder, I can best and I can beat that best time. Um, a growth mindset that says, if there's a problem, I'm going to work harder on me to fix me to be able to overcome that problem. Um, so it's less about blaming and more about an internal, how can I do better, be better and be the better person. Um, so that's my introduction. Thank you very much for joining me and watching this. Like I said, I started the Warriors of Change program really to help athletes be their best selves, help them evolve into the business world so they can be their best selves, so they can provide for their family, live the lifestyle that they want to live and live limitless um, and step into their brilliance, step boldly into their brilliance. If you want to know more, go to the uh, go to MPB Coaching. Dot com. I've got a webinar that's going into this in a great deal more detail on September 26th. Go to check that out and see what that's about. I'd love to see you join me on September 26th for that webinar. Um, if you want to join the Warriors of Change program, uh, you can sign up on the website. Uh, mpbcoaching.com. Um, it's going to be open to eight people to start with. So the first eight that get in, get an opportunity to go through this program. If you want to be a part of it, uh, mpbcoaching.com. Thank you again. I look forward to seeing you soon.